This looks pretty challenging. We have summation with this pretty complex looking expression inside. And we know this has to evaluate to a times 2 to the b power, where a and b are positive integers such that greatest common divisor of a and 2 is 1. Before I go on, I want to recognize Archit Chowdhury for being the very first person to correctly answer last week's challenge with the answer of 1. Let's attempt to get the same answer in the end. And we have to find the remainder when a is divided by 1025 and who knows, a may be really really large. So how can we, how can we start this? Well, I guess we can try to start by trying to evaluate this summation. So let's look into it. We have factorial, and then we have something minus something factorial and something factorial. So it looks like we may be dealing with combination. 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 And as you know, for combination, a choose b is equal to a factorial over a minus b factorial b factorial and we obviously have something similar to it but not quite so i'm not quite sure how this is going to work out so let's start by plugging in some values and see if the expressions look similar to anything we know so let's try it out let's try plugging the values in plugging the values of n and see if we get anything familiar so let's start with n equals to 1. When n is equal to 1, we have 2018 factorial over 2018 minus 2 or 2016 factorial when n is 1 times 2 minus 2 factorial or 0 factorial. And when n is 2, we have 2018 minus 4 factorial or 2014 factorial times 2 times 2 minus 2 factorial or 2 factorial. And of course, as n increases by 1, this part is going to decrease by 2, while this part is going to increase by 2. So we can keep on going on. We can go on. So 2018 factorial over, then it's going to be 2012 factorial, 4 factorial. Then we're going to have 2010 factorial, 6 factorial, and all the way, all the way until we have to be careful of the upper bound. All the way to 1008 and 1008, we have 2018 minus 2016 or 2 factorial. So we have 2 factorial. And we have 2 times 2 times 1008 or 2016 minus 2 factorial or 2014 factorial. 2014 factorial and this looks somewhat off and what's weird about this well we start with 2016 and 0 then we have 2014 to 2012 4 so it it's weird that we're ending with 2 and 2014 it seems like it would be more natural it would be more symmetric and it would be easier for us to evaluate this expression if we ended this with 2018 factorial over 0 factorial 2016 factorial because now we are symmetric and usually symmetric expressions especially in combinatorics is much easier to simplify so let's leave it like this and of course we have to we have to know we have to recall that we have to subtract this last term at the end so let's try to evaluate this part and then we can take out we can take out 2018 factorial over 2016 factorial so let's focus on this part for now to begin with we see that 2016 plus 0 is 2016 2014 plus 2 is 2016 2012 plus 4 is 2016 all the way to 0 plus 2016 is 2016 so it seems like we're dealing with we're dealing with 2016 2016 choose some value x which is going to be 2016 factorial over 2016 minus x factorial times x factorial except that we have 0 2 4 6 2014 2016 so our x values are always even so instead of 2016 choose x it looks like 2016 choose 2x so we, we should have 2016 minus 2x factorial and 2x factorial and this looks like what we have from x equals to 0 at x equals to 0 we have 2016 factorial 0 factorial all the way 
all the way to x equals to all the way to x equals to 1008 where we have 0 factorial 2016 factorial except instead of 2016 factorial up top we have 2018 factorial but that can easily be fixed because 2018 factorial is equal to 2018 times 2017 times 2016 factorial so 2018 and 2017 can be factored out so we can take out 27 2018 and 2017 and we should have 2016 factorial over 2016 factorial 0 factorial 2016 factorial over 2014 factorial 2 factorial all the way to 2016 factorial over 0 factorial 2016 factorial so this entire part is simplifying nicely to this and of course of course the summation is the summation from x equals to 0 to 1008 so x equals to 0 to 2008 of 2018 2016 choose 2x as we saw now what do we do so we know we know this entire thing is the summation of 2016 choose even all the way from 0 to 2016 or we're looking at 2016 to 0 2016 choose 2 plus 2016 choose 4 all the way to plus 2016 choose 2016. Well, you probably know the famous combinatorial identity, the 2016 choose 0, plus 2016 choose 1, plus 2016 choose 2. So when we're looking at every single natural number from 0 to 2016, so if it's not just even, but every single number, so 2016 choose 2015, 2016 choose 2016, we get 2 to the 2016. So of course our summation is not this. In our summation we only have evens at the bottom. But if you have all the natural numbers from 0 all the way to 2016, you probably know that this evaluates to 2 to the 2016. In case you don't, let me prove it to you really quickly. What is this expression? Well this expression is the number of ways, number of ways of choosing, choosing a group of people from 2016 people. And what do I mean by that? 2016 choose 0 is the number of ways of picking 0 people from 2016. And 2016 choose 1 is the number of ways of picking 1 person from 2016 people. And 2 people, 3 people, all the way to 2016 people. So we're looking at the number of ways of choosing a group of people from 2016 people by adding all of these up. And for each of the 2016 person, what can they do? For the first person, for the per first person, he can either be in the in the group or not. So first person has two ways of choosing whether to be in the group or not. And same applies for the second person. He or she can be in the group or not be in the group. All the way to 2016's person who can be in the group or not be in the group. So we are multiplying 2 2016 times. So this has to be equal to 2 to the 2016 because we're looking at the number of ways of choosing a group of people from 2016 people, each of whom has two choices. So we know this is 2 to the 2016. Now what is this? Well, this is looking at number of ways, number of ways of choosing, choosing a group of even number of people, even number of people. We cannot pick a group of one person, but we have to pick a group of 0, 2, 4, or all the way to 2016. So it seems like this is going to be 2 to the 2016 over 2. It seems like number of ways of choosing a group of even number of people and number of ways of choosing a group of odd number of people should be the same so we can divide by 2. Now. Is this valid? Well, it makes intuitive sense, and as we are about to show, it is actually true. This is 2 to the 2015. But just in case this intuition isn't really working out for you, let me prove it more rigorously. By saying that this thing is 2 to the 2015, I'm, t I'm, I'm asserting that 2016 to 0 plus 2016 to 2, so all the evens, all the way to 2016 to 2016, is equal to 2016 choose 1 plus 2016 choose 3 all the way to 2016 choose 2015 because what I'm saying is that number of ways of choosing a group of even number of people 
even number of people is equal to number of ways of choosing a group of odd numbered people. And that's why we are saying that we can maybe just divide by 2. And this equation, we're trying to prove this equation, is the same thing as 2016 choose 0 minus 2016 choose 1 plus 2016 choose 2 minus 2016 choose 3 all the way to all the way to minus 2016 choose 2015 plus 2016 choose 2016 is equal to 0. I'm just moving everything to one side. So all the odd terms are going to go over to the other side, becoming negatives, and all the even terms are going to stay positives. Now, how can we prove this? Using binomial expansion. Because 1 to the 1, 1 minus 1 to the 2016 power is using binomial expansion, 2016 to 0 times 1 to the 2016 negative 1 to the 0 plus 2016 choose 1, 1 to the 2015 negative 1 to the 1, plus 2016 choose 2, 1 to the 2014 negative 1 to the 2nd, 2016 choose 3, 1 to the 2013 negative 1 cubed, and all the way, all the way to 2016 choose 2016, 1 to the 0, negative 1 to the 2016. And as you can see, that this thing is precisely equal to this thing. Because we have 2016 to 0, because that's 1, plus 2016 choose 1 times negative 1, so we have minus that, plus 2016 choose 2, and this thing is 1, because negative 1 squared is positive 1, then we have negative, negative 1 cubed is negative, and so on. So we know this thing, this entire thing, is equal to 1 minus 1 to the 2016, which is of course 0 to the 2016, or zero. So that's a rigorous proof. So now that we have gone over this, now actually, let's actually try to solve the question. So we know, we know, we have, we know, let's go all the way back, our summation is equal to this craziness, and we know this craziness is equal to 2018 times 2017 times the summation, which is 2, which is 2 to the 2015. So we know, we know this entire thing is 2018 times 2017 times 2 to the 2015, and we know we have to subtract this out, which is 2018 factorial over 2016 factorial, and of course 2018 factorial is 2018 times 2017 times 2016 factorial, and 2016 factorials are all going to cancel out, so we know this, we know this entire thing, we know this entire thing is 2018 times 2017, and of course 0 factorial is 1. So, we have this expression being our summation, or let me write it like this, 2018 times 2017 times 2 to the 2015 minus 1. So let's go all the way back, so let me erase all of this. So we know, we know this summation is equal to, we know this is equal to, 2 2018 times 2017, 2 to the 2015 minus 1. And we want to write this in the form a times 2 to the b, where a and b are positive integers such that greatest common divisor of a2 is 1, or a is odd, and we're just taking out all the evens away. So, how can we make this expression odd? Well, we know that's odd because we have even number, 2 to the 2015 is obviously going to be even, because you're multiplying a bunch of 2s, minus 1, which is going to be an odd number. And we know 2017 is odd, but 2018 is even, so we can take 2 out of this. Taking 2 out, we have 1009 left, which is odd. So we know, we know we have a times 2 to the b is 1009 times 2017, times 2 to the 2015 minus 1, which is, which is odd, we know this entire thing is odd, so greatest common divisor of a, this entire thing is a, so a and 2 is 1, and of course we have 2 to the b or just 1, 2. So we have our a, so we know a is 1009 times 2017 times 2 to the 2015 minus 1, and we have to find the remainder when this is divided by 1025. And you may know, 2 to the 10th power is 1024, so 1025 
is 1 more than 2 to the 10th. So that may help us as we are trying to find the remainder when we divide a by 1025. So we want to find a mod 1025. So let's try that. 1009, well 1009 is equal to negative 16 mod 1025 because 1025 minus 1009 is 16 and of course you have to make it negative. And we have 2017 and 1025 times 2 is 2050. So subtracting 2017 from that, we have 33. So we know 2017 is equal to negative 33 mod 1025. Now, what about 2 to the 2015 minus 1? Well, we know 2 to the 10th is 1024, which is congruent to negative 1 mod 1025. And we know 2 to the 2015, 2 to the 2015 is we have 2 to the 10th power, we have 2 to the 10th power 201 times, getting us 2010, and we have extra 2 to the 5th. So we know this is congruent to negative 1 to the 201st power, 2 to the 10th is negative 1, so negative 1 to the 201st power is negative 1, times 2 to the 5th, or negative 32. So we know 2 to the 2015 is negative 32, minus 1 gets you another negative 33. So how can we calculate this mod 1025? Well, 33 times 33 is easy to evaluate, so let's do that first. Because we know 11 times 11 is 121, and 33 times 33 has extra 9 as a factor, so let's evaluate this. That's 1089. So we have negative 16 times 1089, and of course 1089 mod 1025 is 64, because 1089 minus 1025 is 64, so we have 2 to the 4th and 2 to the 6th power, so we have negative 2 to the 10th power. And since 1025 is 2 to the 10th plus 1, we can add 2 to the 10th plus 1 to this, cancel them out, and we have 1 mod 1025. So the remainder, when we divide this expression by 1025, 1025 is equal to 1.